Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter and we are here with our badger mom and her four remaining babies. We have survived flood, we have survived uh, fire, and unfortunately we did lose one of our little babies to a hawk yesterday. So last time, last time that our badgers were off on their own little family adventure, a hawk managed to eat one of our young when it was able to flush us out because the fire was making it so we didn't have anywhere to hide. And it swooped down and got one of our babies. But the good news is we still have all of these little ones with us. And we are, by even though we lost one of our babies, we are taking part in the grand cycle of life that way because we have been pretty good predators. I have been teaching the kids how to hunt foxes. I've been teaching them how to hunt bulls, how to hunt frogs. We've had a lot of frog legs that they've swallowed down. So it's been pretty good. All right, come on, little ones. Oh, look, there's one of those little carrots they like. They were a little bit too obsessed with the carrots that were growing on the riverside during the river flooding. It was so, I was so nervous for my babies. All right, there you go, little ones. All right. So remember, just one of the fun things about badgers is that they're omnivores. They will eat both uh, meat and they will eat plant matter. All right, oh, there's a fox. Oh, I wonder if I can get him. I'm gonna try to get him for the kids. Can I get him? Ah, no. <laughs> I wasn't able to get him, but there's there's some apples, and that's kind of one of the benefits of being an omnivore. If we were like a hardcore predator who relied on this fox exclusively for its meat in order to eat, we'd be in big trouble if like we're running along and we startled the fox away. Oh, look how big my babies are now. They've grown so much. Oh, I'm so proud of them. They've gotten so chunky monkey. Is that because I feed you all the best carrots and frogs? Yeah, it's because I feed you all the best carrots and frogs. But if we were like a strict obligate carnivore who had to eat nothing but foxes, we'd be in big trouble because I'm not very good at hunting foxes. But I'm very good at hunting the frogs and I'm very good at fattening up my babies so they can survive winter. There you go, there you go, eat your little turnip thing. Are you gonna eat it? No, you're gonna dance on it? I know it's a fun thing to have a turnip, but now is not time to have celebratory turnip dances. All right, there we go. We're gonna continue on. But that, that is the balance of being an omnivore, is that we have more food options available, even if we aren't able to achieve like a specific kind. Oh my gosh, but am I gonna get him? Oh, but I got him! Oh my gosh, and look how big my badger babies are! My little ones, you are huge! We have eaten the fox, we have eaten the apples, we have eaten the carrots, now is the time of plenty. And it's beautiful and I can hear geese in the distance so I'm assuming you know autumn is arriving the kids are getting bigger oh somebody's found some berries there's a lot of food surprisingly there's often a lot of food in autumn a lot of berries a lot of fruit a lot of animals trying to hurry and put on a lot of weight so they can survive the time of the winter coming and they're not being as much food lean resources coming up Oh, look, and there's some more. Oh, there's even more food. Well, I have no problem just stuffing my babies full because I think right now, I mean, look how big some of them are getting. I think right now part of the goal is to fatten them up. So we're going to feed them as much as we can. And hopefully that will give them a better chance to survive. All right. Yeah, you can go ahead and eat that. Oh, he is a chunky monkey. This is the chunkiest of the monkeys right there. And he is going to be the one. All right. Which one of your siblings is looking a little small? Rosie is. There you go, Rosie. All right. I feel like they're getting bigger. I really do. All right, let's go see if there's some apples over on this tree. And they're keeping up a little bit better when I run. Look how chunky. You are just the chunkiest little badger in the world. You know that? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. But that that's going to help him. That's part of our, my job as his mama, is to make sure that he has plenty of weight on him. Dun, dun, dun. Nope, 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 you chunky monkey. You stole the apple. I was going to feed it to your little sister. She's much smaller than you. All right, she gets this turnip. I'm trying to balance everything out so that you guys have the best chance of survival as a whole. Though some species won't do that. They'll have a lot of young like this, and they will focus on just whoever seems to be the strongest, whoever beats out the rest of the siblings, and sometimes that one will eat the rest of the siblings. So, oh. See, kids, this is one of those moments that I'm always talking about where you should just stop and look at how 
absolutely beautiful everything is. And as a badger, if we're not really like in a rush for safety, if we're not really in a rush to find more food, why not just stop and enjoy the absolute beauty of the moment now and then? Because this is very, very pretty. So yes, I think autumn's coming. The babies are getting bigger. We still have four babies with us. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And other creatures who are out to get larger themselves. Do I have everybody? <gasps> I thought we were safe. I thought we were safe. I was getting too comfy. I thought this was the end and the goal was just to feed the babies and make them gigantic and happy and fat. Oh, children. Oh, children. Here's some food for you. Here's a here's a cave. Here's a cave carrot. All right, here you go. Cave carrot for you. And here's another. Here's a cave berry for you. Oh boy. I think they are getting physically bigger now every time they eat. Hopefully that'll be enough to deter the hawk. I really thought we were safe now. Also, one of the really useful things that I think badgers benefit from are that they are able to take advantage of being in tunnel systems. Oh, and they're able to take advantage of being above ground. And not a lot of creatures can, can do that. All right, hang on. All right, you guys, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, there we go, a little berry. We're safe underground for now, I think. But we'll have to, oh, here comes the exit. Okay, straight into some bushes at least. Oh, here it comes. Where are we supposed to go? Where is safety? Okay, back up. Somebody's eating that apple, I hear the crunching. All right, where am I supposed to take the kids? There's, there is a turnip right here. Am I gonna be that cocky? Am I gonna try to feed the kids up even though there's a hawk here? Maybe, maybe. The hawk already got one of my babies. Okay, quick, grab it. Come on, kids. Hawk was trying to turn around. Somebody's eating that, I don't know who. One of you. Okay. All right, hang on kids, to me. All right, watch out guys. All right, yeah, somebody just ate the, the the carrot. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, don't you dare turn around, Hawk. Jeez Louise. Oh, it stresses me out when they do that. So here's a big open field, wonderful. This is exactly what I've always wanted for myself and my young. This is great. Is that Hawk wheeling away? Is it coming back? I think it's coming back. Oh, you're kidding me. He's like, I know where you're going. Come on, kids. Come on. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Why? I thought we were safe. I was totally like, oh, this is the end. We're safe now. This is gonna be fine. He's getting smarter, too. Just because he runs past doesn't mean we're good. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, it looks like that's our next goal right there. Hang on, kids. Mom has to see where the hawk is. They're getting so big, they can't even hide in the grass. Maybe I fattened them up too much. Oh no. Okay, come on. Straight run, straight run. Into the grass, into the grass, into the grass, into the grass, everybody. And into the tunnel, into the tunnel, into the tunnel, into the tunnel, into the tunnel. We all here? Oh, we're all here. Oh, thank goodness. All right, hang on. Mom's gonna try to peek out of the tunnel. All right, there's the hawk. It's gonna swoop around overhead. I'm beginning to get why like squirrels just kind of hunch down and like hold still so often when they see a sudden movement. They're just like, nope, just gonna hold still. Try not to get eaten. Where the heck am I going? I don't even know where I'm going to try to become like safe. I'm assuming over here, and then we'll just keep moving from there. All right, hang on, guys. I know we're all worried. This really sucks. I thought we were safe. I didn't realize there was like one last hawk to run past. There's always gonna be more hawks, though. I think that's part of the lesson, 
is there's always gonna be more hawks to chase the baby badgers. Are we going this way? I think we're having to go across this big giant open field towards the moon. I'm beginning to suspect that's what the goal is. Oh, this is so way too open. Oh no. Okay, I didn't hear anybody yell. I can only assume the best. Four. Is the hawk gone? Is the hawk really gone? I don't trust it. I think the hawk's gone. These bushes are not big enough to hide us, so I really hope the hawk's gone. Oh my gosh, the hawk's gone. <gasps> oh, what a relief. What a relief, but what new trouble awaits us? What a time. I guess he just got bored of chasing us. It, oh, no, 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 no. Where? Here? Children? Bushes? Oh my gosh. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Oh my gosh. Is it my turn to become food? Is that how this... Oh, children, run for it. I think this is how this ends. My babies. Run for it, babies. Continue on the legacy. Mom can't drag herself under this tree. Run for it, children. Oh, and there I go. And that's the end. I totally didn't know that was going to happen because it's been so long. But the point is, the babies continue onward. And now they'll have a chance to go and try to make the most out of their life and survive and have children of their own and just be part of the experience of living. That's what it's all about. It's not always about winning. Sometimes this is just about experiencing the moment. Because realistically, this is the balance and it's out there and we're part of it if we like it or not. But you know what? I'm glad my kids made it. Four of my kids made it. Those are pretty good numbers, if you ask me. And I'm glad that we spent some time fattening them up. Because hopefully they will go on to be safe for winter. And thank you guys so much for joining me. It's a beautiful game. It's an amazing experience. It really brings home so many of the things that I feel are the reality of the world because of my love of biology and my understanding of the need for there to be this system and this cycle. The way that all of the, the things we think are so beautiful, all of life that we appreciate so much is the result of this struggle. And it's not fair, but it's what's out there. And it, the best we can do is try to honor our part in it in whatever way we feel truly is the best. And thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining our badger mom and her babies. And even though it may not be a happy ending, it was a fantastic experience. And I cannot wait to see you guys on our next journey together. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.